Thanks for joining Matt Pilates. My name is Kendall with TC Fit. We're going to start into a half kneeling position. You kind of warm up through your hips and your hamstrings and also your upper body. So if you want to bring yourself into a half kneeling position with your right knee down, left foot forward, right knee down, left foot forward. From here, gang, you're going to lunge it forward, reach your arms out from your ears. And then as you press back, circle your arms around and return. Do it again. Hinging forward from your hips, one long line, and exhale, circle it around. A lunge. Exhale, circle. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, circle. Let's do two more. Working our shoulder mobility as well. Last one. And then find your lunge. your right foot under, lengthen your back leg. Lengthen it here. And go ahead and lower your back knee. And again, lift it back up. Forward. And lift. Keep it going. Another option is to place your hands onto your knees and just hold in the stretch. Do two more. And the last one. Good. Same thing, other side. Left knee down, right foot forward. Here we go, lunging forward, reaching your arms out from your ears. Exhale, circle out and around. And again, lunging forward. Exhale to circle. Lunging forward from your hips, one long line. Exhale, circle, two more. Two forward. Out and around, last one. Now bring your hands down, tuck your back foot under, and reach your knee up, and set it back down. Exhale, nodding your chin, rounding it forward. Inhale, stay. Exhale to roll it back up. Keep going. I'm gonna turn my microphone up. Hopefully that helps. Take an inhale. And exhale, rounding it forward. Inhale, stay. And now exhale to roll it back up. One vertebrae at a time. Head the last to return. Good. Arms go out to a T for your spine twist. Feet are flexed. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we pulse three times to the right. Exhale for one, two, three to your end range. Inhale to grow tall. And again, other side. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, return. Other side. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, return. Exhale, 
exhale one, two, three, inhale, return, exhale one, two, three, inhale, return, exhale one, two, three, inhale, return, one more each side, inhale back, last one, and inhale, return, good, set your hands down, go ahead and lie down onto your back, and we go into your pelvic tilts. Arms long down by your sides. We have a neutral spine. Relax through your shoulders, head and your neck. Take an inhale. As you exhale, find your imprint. Inhale, stay here. And now exhale, return back to your neutral. And again, take an inhale. Exhale, find your imprint, engaging your abs, not your glutes. Inhale, stay. And now exhale back to your neutral. Take an inhale. Exhale, imprint. Inhale, stay. Exhale, back to your neutral. A couple more here. Take an inhale. Exhale, find your imprint. Inhale, stay. Exhale, back to your neutral. Inhale, stay. Exhale, imprint. Inhale, stay. Exhale to your neutral. Last one. Take an inhale. Exhale to your imprint. Inhale, stay. And now exhale, return back to your neutral. Good, take an inhale. As you exhale, maintain your neutral. Lift your right leg up to your tabletop. And then lower back down, same thing, other side. Exhale, lift, other side. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Now, if this is putting pressure into your lumbar spine, so the small, low, or your low back, Find your imprint. So we want to consistently kind of challenge different positions of the spine when we're targeting your abdominal muscles. But again, ultimately, if this is uncomfortable and neutral, find your imprint. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Let's do one more each, then we'll go into hip rolls. Last one. Good. Okay, take an inhale. As you exhale, find your imprint, peel your pelvis off one vertebrae at a time up to your shoulder bridge. Inhale to stay here. And now as you exhale, roll it back down, belly button toward your spine, find your imprint, and back to your neutral. And again, take an inhale. Exhale to peel, squeezing your glutes. Inhale, stay at the top. Exhale to roll it back down, one vertebrae at a time. Back to your neutral. Inhale, prepare. Exhale into peel. Inhale, stay. And exhale, roll it back down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, rolling back up. Now stay at the top, stay at the top. Lift your heels, set them back down. Exhale, lift your heels. Set your heels back down, keep it going. So maintaining the height of your hips, working your calf muscles, try to keep your weight shifted forward versus pushing back to your shoulders and your head and your neck. Good, five more. And four. Last three. And two. Last one. Set your heels down, take an inhale. And now exhale to roll it back down one vertebrae at a time, back to your neutral. Good, let's bring it up to a seated position. Come to the front edge of your mat and we go into a half roll back. Arms long up from your shoulders, flex it forward. As you inhale, roll it halfway away. And then exhale, draw yourself back in, engage your abs. Inhale, rolling away, maintaining your C-shaped curve. Exhale, pull and draw back in. Inhale, halfway back. Exhale, back forward. As you roll away, you're lengthening at your hips. And exhale, draw your belly button toward your spine. Inhale, roll it away. Exhale, return. Do two more. Last one. And return, good. Rolling like a ball, roll it off of your sits bones. Legs lift off, hands to the outside of your ankles. Inhale, roll it away. 
and exhale, find your balance at the top. Inhale, go with that. Exhale, return. Good, keep it going. Another option here is to do your half roll back again. So that half roll back is kind of getting you prepped into rolling like a ball. Now one of the challenges with this one, as you find your position at the top, make sure you're not lengthening through your spine. You wanna stay rounded, C-shaped curve, and draw your shoulders back. Glue your inner thighs together. Couple more here. And then go right into a single leg stretch. Finish out two more. Last one. Find your balance at the top. Hold it here. Reach your arms out from your shoulders. Hold, hold, hold. Now in five seconds, we roll it down to a single leg stretch. Three, two, and one. Roll it down. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Exhale, outside hand goes to the outside of your ankle. You can always do this with your upper body down. You can always take the arm movements out with it too. One more set here. Hands back behind your head, obliques. Or your bicycle. Elbows stay wide, nice and controlled. Two more sets. Last one. Center back out, lower your upper body back down, bring your legs to a diamond position, hands come to the outside of your knees. Slow double leg stretch, take an inhale. As you exhale, flex it forward, peeking through your legs. Inhale, send everything long. Exhale, circle out and around, return back to your parallel, and then bend your knees, set your upper body back down. We do it again, take an inhale. Exhale, flex forward. Inhale, send it long, so you're gonna be able to your spine. Inhale, circle. And then lowering back down as you exhale, take an inhale. Exhale, flex forward. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, circling around. Inhale, return. And exhale to lower two more. Take an inhale. Exhale, flex. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, circling around. Inhale to parallel. Exhale, lowering back down one more. And take an inhale. Exhale, flex forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circling. Inhale, return, and now exhale to lower back down. Good. Lastly, bring your knees together in parallel, hands back behind your head. As you exhale, flex it forward. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, flex. Inhale, lower, maintaining your imprint. Another option here, you can always set your feet down if your legs are getting tired. If your abs are getting tired, that's a good thing. They shouldn't be getting tired. Two more. Last one. Awesome job. Go ahead and set your feet down. Let's give you a quick stretch for your abs. Flip it onto your belly. Separate your legs a little bit wider than your hips. And we press up to your swan dive as you exhale, lifting all the way up, squeeze your glutes. Draw your shoulders down, and then inhale to lower all the way back down. Exhale, pressing up. So we're complementing all that flexion now with extension and lowering back down. Exhale, lift. Another option, you can always just lower or uh, lift up to your forearms. Inhale to lower back down, last one. Exhale, press. And inhale to lower. Good. Go ahead and come onto all fours into a quadruped position. We have some leg lifts. Now shoulders over your hands, hips over your knees, send your right leg back. Now, maintain a neutral spine, make sure you're not sinking into your low back. 
abs drawn in. As you exhale, lift your right leg just up to the height of the hip, lower back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keep it going. Now, being onto your wrist like this can get kind of um, sensitive. What you can do is roll up your mat and then place the palms of the hands on top of the mat. It helps to kind of lengthen your wrist a little bit. Two more. Last full. Now we hold it at the top, hold it here. Little leg circles, tiny little leg circles. Doesn't matter direction, what direction you're going in, we will reverse. But think of the, the wall behind you. Pretend you have like a marker on your big toe and you're trying to create perfect little circles. Go ahead and reverse your direction, reverse. So we tend to start with our stronger side and our more dominant. So usually the second direction is kind of a little bit harder, especially to create those circles and not going into an oval. Last three, two, and one. Keep the height of the leg, last week hamstring curls. Bottom hip is burning. So that's your left hip, your medial glute. Five more, five. Keeping your shoulders over your hands. Last three, right foot is flexed. Two, last one. Oh, go ahead and sink back to a child's pose real quick. Stretch it out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Find your forearm plank down to your forearms. Reach your legs long. Hold it here. Use your glutes. Now we can't go into Thanksgiving without doing some planks. Thanksgiving. Last five. Three, two, one, and release. Let's do the same thing, other side, leg lifts. Shoulders over your hands, hips over your knees. Send your left leg straight. Here we go. Lift and lower. Now, a big thing with Pilates is learning how to mobilize certain body parts, meanwhile stabilizing. So when we talk about that, our left leg, that's our left leg that is mobilizing. The rest of our body, our spine, we're trying to keep everything else stable. Four more and then go into your leg circles. Three, two, Last full, hold it at the top and creating your left circles. Try to keep both hips square, both hips square. That way you're gonna feel it dead center into your hamstrings. Almost there. Go ahead and reverse your direction. Mind-body connection. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hamstring curls, we're almost there. Keep the height of the leg. Left foot is flexed as you bend. It helps to protect your knee. Think about your abs. Try not to sink into your low back, especially as you start to get tired. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Nicely done. Sink it back to a child's pose. Stretch it out. Reach your arms long. And one more time. Bring it down to your forearms. Plank holds one long line. You can always do this scale down to your knees as another option. Think of your spine as a corset. Draw in your abs to protect your lumbar spine. 
Last five. Four, three, two, and one. And release. Let's again sink it back to a child's pose. Stretch it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. You know, as you exhale, roll it back up one vertebrae at a time as the last return. We're going to add in a new exercise. This is called a rollover. It's a kind of a popular exercise within the Matt Pilates community. We're going to start with your prep. Now, with your rollover prep, you're going to crisscross your legs. It's like a typical uh, leg lift. Arms come down by your sides. And again, legs are crisscrossed. As you exhale, try to lift your legs straight up to the ceiling and you're using your low abs to lift your hips off the ground. A very small movement. So this is just the prep to go into our full rollover. Now, if you've done this before in Pilates, you can go ahead and do it with me. We'll continue with the prep right now. But if you're brand new to this, maybe take a second just to watch as I do it, and then get into it. Two more. Last one. Okay, so here's our full rollover. You're gonna send your legs down to your low diagonal. This is an imprint spine. As you inhale, hinge your legs. Exhale, we literally lift your hips. Your legs are out from your hips. Open here. And now roll it down one vertebrae at a time, massaging your spine, send your legs down to your low diagonal, and close, we do it again. Now if you don't like this motion, you can go back to your roll over prep. Open your legs, flex your feet, roll it down one vertebrae at a time, send your legs to your low diagonal, and close, and again, hinge, Exhale, roll over. Open your legs on your inhale. Exhale, roll it down so your legs are hip distance apart. Try not to grip through your mat with your arms. Close your legs. Then again, inhale, hinge. Exhale, roll it over. Inhale, open. Exhale, roll it down. Send your legs long. Close, last one. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, roll it over. Inhale, open. Exhale, rolling down. And then go ahead and send your legs long. Nicely done, that is your rollover. Okay, again, we're gonna go into your teaser. Keep your legs up to your tabletop. Reach your arms up by your ears. As you inhale, hinge your arms. Exhale, flex it forward. Find your seated position. Inhale, roll it away. Exhale, roll it back down and again. Inhale, hinge your arms. Exhale, flex it forward. Inhale, stay at the top. And now exhale, roll it back down. And again, inhale, hinge your arms. Exhale, flex it forward. Inhale, roll it away. Exhale, return. If you want to add challenge, try your legs straight. Inhale, hinge. Exhale. Good. Inhale, roll it away. Exhale, back down. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, roll it away. Exhale, return. Last one. Inhale. Inhale. And exhale to return. Ooh, nicely done. Okay, let's go into your hundreds. You gotta do it. Hope we're, hopefully we're sufficiently working your abs today. Let's get you prepped. Take an inhale. As you exhale, find your imprint. Inhale, one leg goes up to your tabletop. Exhale, the other comes to me. Legs can stay bent or send them straight for a challenge. Take an inhale. Exhale, flex it forward. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, fifty. 
to inhale to three, four, five, and exhale to three, four, sixty, inhale. And exhale to three, four, seventy, inhale to three, four, five, and exhale to three, four, eighty, almost there. And exhale to three, four, ninety, inhale to three, four, five, and exhale to three, four, one hundred, inhale, bend your knees. And now exhale, set your upper body back down. Awesome work today, everyone. Let's quick stretch your hips and your right leg straight. Left knee into your chest. Cross it over your body. Head goes the opposite direction. Keep breathing here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And return back center. Let's do the other side. Send your left leg straight. Right knee to your chest. Cross it over your body. Head goes the opposite direction. Woo. And reach turn back center. Gently roll yourself back up to a seated position. And gang, you are done. Thank you for joining me for today's Matt Pilates. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we will see you next week.